Hi everybody, welcome to today's video and today we'll be talking about different types of post-apocalyptic worlds and games. Right, so the first type of post-apocalyptic world is what I call the post-human wasteland. This first type of wasteland um, is a world where the human race which once thrived and built a global super world of interconnected communities, villages, towns and cities, metropolises is now almost extinct, leaving behind majestic ruins. Entire villages, towns, even cities remain vacant of humans. And uh, plants, trees, uh, plant life as well as, uh, as animals have reclaimed the world and animals roam freely and, and trees uh, um, are now uh, uh, grow in World War One's um, concrete jungles. Examples of such games include um, Days Gone, uh, the Last of Us. Um, in the Last of Us, you know, we have these beautiful uh, post-human wasteland settings in these uh, uh, once metropolises uh, become literal uh, concrete jungles, you know, uh, as well as Generation Z. Now, the second type of post-apocalyptic uh, world or post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland is what I call the desert wasteland. The second type of, of, of wasteland is a scorching, arid, uh, barren uh, a world with, 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 very, with very little uh, rainfall, um, very, little, very few water catchment areas. Um, there's practically uh, no, no rivers, lakes, seas or oceans which have dried out due to some kind of um, global warming or or, or atmospheric uh, shift in, 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 or, or shift in you know in, 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 the, in the temperature as a result humans living in this um, desert wasteland have been forced to survive by sheltering in enclosed or underground uh, communities underground villages or in caves um, crevasses uh, 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 and, and, and ravines. Typically there's very little plant life in, in desert wastelands and there's very few uh, animals uh, that have been able to adapt and survive in this new uh, kind of world. Usually most likely uh, scorpions, crabs live in uh, underground as well as a few humans who've been able to, to, to make it. Examples of, of this this type of wasteland are, are Mad Max and, and Rage. Now the third uh, type of, uh, of post-apocalyptic world or a post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland is what I call the nuclear winter wasteland. Now this is a world that is just cold. It, it is arid, um, similar, to, similar to a desert, but it's what I call a white desert. Uh, a world that is just frostbitten and, and, and full of snow, very little uh, vegetation, uh, all water is, is, uh, is inaccessible or not usable because the world is just blanketed by snow and, and, and blizzards and, and, and snowstorms. Um, examples of, of, of games uh, set in, in a nuclear winter wasteland include Metro Exodus and, and Frostpunk. Now, another type of post-apocalyptic wasteland is what I call the irradiated wasteland. This is a world scarred by the damage of nuclear war or nuclear accidents, you know, um, nuclear bombs. Most towns, uh, cities, villages have been destroyed, you know, by, by nuclear bombs, um, by, by, by nuclear accidents, you know, maybe uh, nuclear... N nuclear uh, factories, nuclear electricity uh, uh, accidents have happened. As a result, these places re typically remain vacant of people and the world is littered with upright corpses of, of, of dead trees as well as um, a lot of uh, remnants of, of dead animals and uh, maybe dead people. Uh, in, a, in an irradiated uh, nuclear wasteland, uh, most likely you'd find radiation 
um, in the environment, uh, radiation in the water sources that have been left, and as a result, mutations in the plant life, mutations in the animal life, and possibly also mutations in, in, in people. Now, the last kind of post-apocalyptic world or post-apocalyptic wasteland is what I call the super bloom wasteland. And this is very similar to the post-human wasteland, um, but the super bloom wasteland is a world that has just been totally reclaimed by nature. A beautiful uh, world, a post-apocalyptic world that is dominated by, by trees and flowers and plant life and, and, and plant life and typically also by by animals which thrive in this ecosystem. So there you have it. Uh, those are the main types of post-apocalyptic worlds or post-apocalyptic wastelands um, that, that we could find ourselves according to video games. Thank you very much.